Hello and welcome to Firearm Freedom. In today's video, we are gonna be talking about my first impressions to the dot torture shooting drill. So this dot torture drill is very, very interesting. So when you start off, you think it's gonna be a lot easier than it actually is. It's actually quite a challenging drill and I really enjoy it. I only had one print off with me, but I wish I had multiples to see if it would become easier throughout the day. I did shoot the drill with my HK VP9 in this T-Rex arm sidecar. My overall score on the drill was 38 out of 50, which is not great. Generally, you'd wanna clear the entire drill with 50 out of 50 because it is not timed. I did do the drill at approximately three yards, which is where they recommend starting it. So we can see here, overall, it wasn't too terribly bad, but there were a couple of areas that really made me understand what I needed to work on and what also really affected my score. Really, the biggest thing that hurt me was down here and it was from the ready, five shots with the weak hand. I shoot with my weak hand a lot. I try to shoot alternating back and forth with any gun at the range to get a little bit better. But you guys have to remember that I'm generally shooting steel. And I thought it was really interesting that when you go to just a paper drill and not just steel poppers or other steel plates, you start really learning where your flaws are when you're shooting at small dots like this. I understood that with my rounds, really where they were printing with the weak hand was all in a somewhat tight group, but they were off to the left. With a steel plate, I still may have hit the steel plate, but I think it's really important to note that I may not have realized how wide that group was opening or that it was slightly to the left, but I did realize it when I was shooting a small paper target like this. So that was a really big benefit. But as you guys can see, I got none of the five rounds in the number eight circle on the drill. And that again, really hurt my score. Moving up to the number five circle right above that, that was actually the second one that hurt me the most. And that was just simply from the draw, five shots strong hand. I missed a total of three shots. I had one and two inside the circle. So that again, shows me something that I really do need to work on. Now there were some areas where I succeeded in getting all my rounds properly inside the circle. And that's going to be six and seven. And on six and seven, you're supposed to draw your pistol from the holster and fire two shots on six and two shots on seven. And you're supposed to repeat that four times. Here you can see I got all of those rounds inside the circle. So I was happy with that. Something else that made it a little bit more interesting for me is that in this day, I was currently testing my CZ SP01 and that gun is a double single action trigger. So I went from shooting a double single action trigger to immediately shooting this drill with my striker fired VP9. So I thought it also made it a little bit more interesting to just see how well I would do shooting one gun and then immediately switching to another gun. The nice thing about this drill is that you do not need a shot timer to do it. So it really is helpful to somebody like me who doesn't have a shot timer to be able to just kind of get somewhat of an idea on skills that I may need to work work on and not have to worry about something time that you have to stick to. The interesting thing about not having it be time though, is that I found myself kind of overthinking what I really needed to do. I think you need to find a happy medium by not going extremely slow to where you're just overthinking it and simply holding the gun out for too long of a time but not go too fast to where you're just jumping over the shots. And I think overall, there's just things that we all need to work on. I think it's very, very important that we do things like this because somebody might think there's nothing for them to work on just simply because they shoot steel all of the time. I know that's very, very common. And steel, shooting steel doesn't always tell the truth. It's very, very important to do paper drills like this to see where we're actually hitting and when we're calling certain things and requiring to do certain things inside of a small tight circle at this, even at a distance of three yards, it can become pretty challenging. So I'm really excited to show you guys how I progress in this in the future. I'm planning on doing this at least once a month, a couple of times, and really just overall trying the best. As a side note with this, whatever gun that you choose, you're gonna be a little bit better off choosing a full size gun with 17 round magazines or above, just simply because of the round count that's required. My VP9 has 15 round magazines. I was able to fill all three of the 15 round magazines, but I did have to reload four rounds before the drill was completed. 
you're gonna do a total of 50 rounds, obviously. That's gonna pretty much wrap up this video, guys. It was just a super quick first impressions on what I thought of the dot torture drill. If you guys have any questions or anything you'd like to comment about this drill, please feel free to put them down below. I will absolutely get back to you. Also, head to that description and check out the Firearm Freedom Facebook and Instagram account. On the Instagram account, I currently do daily posts daily stories and weekly live streams. It's an absolute blast over there. And you guys are just about to start seeing some featured content on Instagram's new feature, IGTV. So that should be a lot of fun as well. Be sure to give those a follow. If you like this content here on YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you're always notified whenever I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay tuned for more great videos to come soon.